This video will demonstrate how to measure the head and neck. The video will cover the basic measuring procedure, measuring requirements for style variations, and a few common options and features. Section 1, Basic Measuring Procedure. Using the full face mask as an example, record each measurement on the BioConcepts head and neck measurement chart. Refer to the measuring manual for an explanation of the shorthand notation system for measurements recorded in inches. Measurements in centimeters are welcome. Simply record in decimal notation, for example, 6.4 centimeters. It is critical to look up the required measurements before you start measuring. When measuring the head, make sure the head is level and facing straight ahead, not tilted or turned. It is usually best for the measurer to stand while the patient is seated. Use BioConcept's retractable tape for circumference measurements, and remember, never pull the tapes snugly. Measurement capital A is from the chin-neck junction to the top of the back of the head. Place the tape just in front of the ears. Measurement capital B is the circumference around the top of the head over the forehead just above the eyebrows. There is no capital C measurement. Measurement capital D is around the base of the head from the nape of the neck to the chin. Place the tape on the nape of the neck between the lip and the point of the chin. Note that the posterior position of capital D is the same as capital E, only the anterior positions have changed. Measurement capital E is the neck circumference from the nape of the neck to around the throat. Use the BioConcepts clear ruler for distance measurements. The patient should be seated directly in front of the measurer. Measurement little a is from the base of the chin to the center of the mouth. Put something under the chin to see the base of the ruler. Make sure you measure from the zero mark, not from the bottom of the ruler. There is no little b measurement. Little c is from the base of the chin to the base of the nose. Little d is from the base of the chin to the center of the eye. Little e is from the base of the chin to the top of the eyebrow. Little f is the width of the mouth. Don't hold the ruler straight for this measurement. Make sure the ruler conforms to the shape of the mouth just like the face mask will conform. Little g is the width of the base of the nose. Again, make sure the ruler conforms on this measurement. Little h is the width of the eye. If the eyes are different widths, let BioConcepts know by noting this on the additional instructions and comments. Little i is the distance between the outsides of the eyes. Little j is the length of the ear vertically, from the top of the ear to the bottom of the ear where the ears attach to the head. Little k is the center of the forehead to the front of the ear where the ear lobe attaches. Section 2 covers measuring requirements for style variations. For a full or open face mask, all circumference and distance measurements are required. For a chin strap, measurements capital A through capital E, little a, little e, little f, little j, and little k are required. For a headband, the capital B measurement along with the desired height of the band in front are required. Write B in the space provided on the form and write the height in the blanks for additional instructions. For a collar, the capital E measurement along with the desired height of the collar are required. We move now to Section 3, highlighting a few common options and features for head and neck garments. Here are a few of our most commonly ordered garment styles and features. Keep in mind, we have many, many more options and features of every style of garment. Consult the measuring manual for more information. Here is a number 32A, the full face mask, which has standard open ears and open nose, and in this example comes with a crown insert, providing a little more cushion on the top of the head, providing good compression with a softer fabric. If the crown insert or any other option is desired, it must be specified on the measurement chart. Number 32B, the open face mask, has open ears, and in this example, a chin lining, a ponytail hole, and no band at the neck. 
all of which must be specified on the measurement chart. When measuring for a chin strap, measurements little a, little e, little f, little j, and little k are required. For a headband, only the capital B measurement, the circumference of the head, and the desired height of the band measured in the forehead are required. On the head and neck measurement chart, write capital B in the space provided and write the height in the blanks for additional instructions. Garment number 34A is a headband. A headband covers the area on the forehead that needs to be targeted, applying pressure to the forehead. For a neck collar, only the capital E measurement and the height of the collar are required. Garment number 35A is a neck collar with a foam pad encircling the neck. It helps extend the neck, keeping the neck up. Another head and neck option is the foam collar pillow, which adds more compression while extending the neck, helping to hold the chin up.